Hello, today we're going to talk about truth, the importance of truth. And that means not telling lies. Now, where do we hear the most lies, each one of us individually in our lives? Well, we hear the most lies from ourselves. We lie to ourselves all the time. And that's one of the most important things to try and stop from doing. I'm here on the streets of Rio de Janeiro uh, in the barrio uh, Flamingo walking along and talking about spiritism. This is my new vlog, Musings About Spiritism. So let's talk about lying. When we lie to ourselves, what's the worst thing that happens? Well, the worst thing that happens is we start numbing ourselves to the idea of lying. Built inside of us is our conscience. Our conscience is given to us by God to every living human soul on earth. It is a set of divine laws, and it tells us when we violate one of those laws and when we lie, when we pass over the correct line of, of deportment, of, of behavior. We, should, we are here on earth to learn to become better people, more civilized, loving, caring, fraternal. And therefore, we violate that when we lie to ourselves, when we rationalize a way that we do an action that can be profitable, our, our make ourselves feel good, but we know that's the wrong thing to do to somebody else, or even to our own bodies, we know that's wrong. So if we keep doing that, what we do is we become numb to the sensation of violating our conscience. And then we get used to that, we can violate more and more, and we can ignore what we know is right. Let me walk around here a bit so you can see the life of Rio de Janeiro, it's beautiful beautiful area so think of that think of that first is what you want to do with your life you want to live a truthful life where you know that you cannot be mad at people just because they say something you don't like that you shouldn't shun people because they say something you don't like you may disagree with them and you can have a, a argument but that doesn't mean you should ever do anything physical or hurt them or gossip negatively about them in any way because you know that is wrong. Now think about the lies we are surrounded in this culture. First, the government. The government creates, creates problems for us. They, they love, they love to create a problem so then they can say we can fix it for you. The government is run by people who are not mature souls. They are run by people who are greedy for the most part. There are always exceptions. There are good people, I'm sure, everywhere. But you must remember that governments are led by people who are still on this earth, this earthy planet of atonement, and who have not ascended spiritually. Therefore, do they have your best interests at heart? Probably not for most of the time. So think about that. Think about businesses. What do they want? They want to squeeze every dollar out of you that they can. That's fair. But if they, and they do it, if and if they do it in an honorable method, and they're giving you a service that's well worth their price, that's, that's healthy for you, that's good, then that's fine. That's why we're here. That's why the spirit world wants capitalism to work. But think of all those businesses that creates shabby work, that just tries to steal pennies from you at a time, that gives you a bad product at a, at, a, at a wrongful price. Now, I'm not saying anyone should intervene and do anything about that. I think that's all up to you. Each individual, it's up to you to say, no, I don't need that product. That product isn't the panacea for me. But as we go, let's talk about that product. Let's, say, let's take an example. Example or remember all those products that say they burn fat and I'm sure there's something out there that really works But remember all those things that say oh no, we can burn fat all those machines That do that now think of the people making those machines. those people making those machines first of all the developers the mechanical engineers the electrical engineers the uh, Architects all knew this was a sham each each step of the way that hurt their conscience a little bit and it can it contributed to the numbness in their conscience when they do something wrong. Think of the marketing people that marketed that, that machine. Think of the people, the doctors, nurses, or the clinicians, or whatever, you know, 
beauty salon that they used those machines in, how those people felt when they knew they were supplying a service that provided no benefit to anyone. Each one of those people violated their conscience in a small way, contributing to the decrease in pain what happens when they violate their conscience or when they violate a divine law. All this sets us up for failure. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be completely strict, right? Because life is a measure, right? Life is back and forth. And therefore, we have to, sometimes we have, in order to feed our family, you know, we have to go into the gray areas. But if you can try to resist as much as possible, that's a victory in itself. So I hope this little talk helps people kind of categorize where they are in their life and give you a path forward to, to slowly, it doesn't have to be a dramatic event, to slowly try to start listening to your conscience, try to do what you know is right inside you because that is what the spirit rule, what God, what Jesus puts inside of all of us that so we can follow that so we can become better people. And if you're interested in more about spiritism and how to improve yourself, check my blog out, nwspiritism.com. Go there on the right-hand side. There's navigation of the books I have written. There's a picture of Alan Kardec right on the top. There's other books by Alan Kardec, Chico Xavier. You'll go to the EDICEI bookstore. You can find the Headwaters of Spiritism from Alan Kardec, which was Spiritism was created in the 1850s. You can find Alan Kardec's books on PDF, so they're free. That's how I started reading Alan Kardec's books, which answered so many questions for me. So it's questions such as, why do good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people? It is explained through reincarnation and life after life and how we live in order to learn. We are here on this campus called Earth, and that's why we're here. We're, and we, quite truthfully, we have to learn a lot of hard lessons because we don't listen the first or second or third time in our lives. It's all about reincarnation and the effect of karma, action and reaction. And part of the first step towards the path to create a better life for you in the next life is to listen to yourself and tell yourself and others the truth. God bless everybody. God bless.